it's Kimberly Day here and what we're going to do today is Kmart has bought out their own makeup brand. It's called OXX and there is a studio range and there is a normal range. So the studio range is a little bit more expensive than the basic range. Um, I'll insert a photo of everything I've got. I think it cost me $70 for absolutely everything. So what we're going to start with is the studio primer. I got the brightening studio primer, which is that one. Okay, so the primer comes out and it's it's supposed to be a mix between blue and green. So I'd say it's got a little bit of a corrector in it as well. Smells like old lady um, moisturizer. So then we're going with the flawless finish foundation. Now I got a look one because I'm normally really light, but I did spray tan last night. So I have gone a number two in the powder. Now I've never tried any really cheap foundation like this. So we're gonna take a few pumps. The Napoleon um, Buffer Brush number 27R. Smells nice. I'm actually really surprised. This is actually going on really well. But that was like three pumps and I need more. So I must say you do use a lot more than you would an expensive foundation in my opinion. And how much coverage you want really. Now, if this is look one, not that light. Like, that's it there. That's supposed to be their look one. It's supposed to be porcelain. I would say this would be like a look two, personally. It seems to have gone all funny on my nose. Can you see it on my forehead? See, try a sponge. It does go on better. With a sponge, definitely. It's not terrible. For like, for a cheap foundation, I think it was maybe $8.00. If you're wanting a cheap foundation, I must say it's, it's not terrible. Concealer. I got a number one because it's the lightest and I thought it might brighten me up a little bit. So it's got a doe foot applicator. Let's, let's apply it under here. Obviously, put some down here. So I also bought a setting spray, so I'm just going to wet my sponge. It's a matte finish one. Didn't think it would be that good. That's actually, that's really good for a concealer. Considering maybe this was like $5 or something. Put it on top of my eyes here as well as a primer. Who would have thought? Kmart, you've done it again. Probably buildable, but I did, like, I put a lot on, and you can still see. On the forehead, you see all the freckles still? So it's not, I wouldn't say it's full coverage. This is the powder. So this is look two. Okay, so this is a big powder brush. It's the BR22 in the Napoleon. powder is actually really nice so surprised not sure about the foundation but i did like i went for the flaws finish so maybe if i went and had another look you could sort of go maybe the matte one has a little bit more coverage but it, there's obviously no one to help you because it's not a makeup store and you sort of got to guess because you can't actually get into the colors to check it on your skin or anything so you're sort of winging it and then obviously once you open it, you can't take it back. So I'm going to put mascara on now. This is the Studio OXX. Now this is pump up the volume. Now this was actually on sale for about $2. This is black. It's hard to get back in. Obviously it takes a little bit of work. So you've got to, you really got to get in there. Now, it's really hard to get oh, the brush in. 
than that. It's not terrible. So the price? Why would you not? See? So let's have a look at brows. So I got this brow kit. I got medium. You get a brow pot, the brown medium pencil, and you get a little spoolie with a little angle brush on the end. That's pretty good. I think that was six dollars. Wow. So it will come in with the brow pencil. You know, I just like to draw little tiny hairs. The brush feels sort of like a crowny feel, like sort of sticky. It's not terrible. You would have to put powder on top. That's that's the colour. Wow. That's not terrible. Now let's lose, use a little spoolie that it comes with. I know I don't have the most amazing brows because I went and had them done and the lady who threaded them said, do you want them thick or thin? And I said, well, I don't want them thick, but then I don't want them thin. So she just did them thin. Poo. It smells like a, you know those fine tip black markers? That's what it smells like. That's the colour. So pretty much what you're doing is the powder you're putting over it and that's setting it. I must say they don't they don't feel amazing. It sort of feels like, oh yes, it cost me six dollars. These are six dollar eyebrows. Yes. They do feel like six dollar eyebrows. What I got is the face palette. So you actually get a contour, you get a blush. A highlighter and a sculpt and then you also get a bronze which I'm going to take through my crease. Open it up. Oh that's nice. And you get a little mirror. Let's start on the blush. Okay. I'm really getting in there. Can you see it? But that's me going, like I'm really getting in there. Now, contour. This one, we're going with a light bit. Okay, it's going to be like the blush. So this is me really getting in there. I feel like by the time I get any on this, use so much of it. Really, this cost me $10, so... If you're just getting into makeup and you don't want to spend a whole lot and you just want to start having a play with doing things, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to recommend using Kmart stuff. Like it doesn't, a lot of high-end makeup brands have it so that when you're actually putting the product on your face, it's got vitamin E or Jehovah or anti-aging properties or anything like that. Well, your Kmart stuff doesn't have that, but you're paying $8 for foundation, whereas a lot of times foundation is like $60 for your higher end products. And yes, it's anti-aging and everything, but if you can't afford it, you can still look good on a budget. I'm actually really impressed. Okay, Matt, you've done well. The highlighter. Now, okay, so you see that? This one here has a bit of shimmer to it. And this one here, I would say, is matte. So the matte one, I would say, is for your brow bone. And then, I'm thinking the other one's a highlighter, but they look very talcum powdery. Well, we may as well try it. Okay. Can you see that? It looks like I've just put a stripe of powder on my face. I don't like that. No, no, no. I'm going to come back with my brush that I use for my foundation and just go over that. I did buy another face highlighter, which is this one. So this one is called Ice Queen. We'll see if this is any better. That's that one. So... To me, it feels like the other one, even when you wipe your finger. So you can still see 
It's like a talky. What's the ingredients? Okay, the first ingredient is talc. So I'm pretty sure that if we took flash photography with these products, you're gonna get flashback. Well, that's nice though. Hmm. Yeah, that's a lot nicer. But they do also have these liquid drops, which I did like, but I couldn't decide. And I'd already bought two highlighters. And I thought, I only have one face. So we, we're just going to try this one. I don't mind it. I don't hate it. And when things are cheap, you're going you're gonna to buy them because why wouldn't you? Might just come back with that. Going to uh, just put a little bit around here because my forehead is so big next we have it's cost me ten dollars it's got every shade it's so exciting this is it oh magnificent colors through the crease back with this one so i've got your napoleon 10r blending brush okay so i've got quite a lot on my brush so this is just the bronzy color here so it does have a shimmer it's actually quite nice i come back into this color which is the matte color i'm just going to take that up to the brow though it doesn't it don't seem that pigmented a little swatch Ooh. so this one here oh look it's very good so i'd say it it's quite chunky like it's just on the top it's weird let's try one of the cream ones hmm. it's quite nice a shadow brush so i'm taking this cup here i can't even see it try with Better put on the other eye anyway and then we'll we'll build it up because you can't even see that we'll probably be all right on dark skin i think you'd see it we might try this darker one so this one okay now we're getting somewhere coming on our inner corner anyway might come back with that one just on your inner in a corner here do really want to try one of these really glittery ones because they look really fun my is this pinky one here mm, it's coming off really 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 chunky not loving these they did have um ones on sale that was a little powder one and they they look quite nice but i thought this was fun so I'm not loving it. I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend that one. Might even take some of the contour shade through the crease. I'm gonna take it underneath the eye. Now I might take this bronzy, bronzy colour underneath in the powder. Now we might even warm that up with a bit of the the blush colour. So this one. So when you're doing it. If you come back and you say, oh, I've gone out of the lines. Don't worry about it, it's makeup, it comes off. So grab one of the brushes that you use with your concealer color and just swoop it up. Always want to make the eyes look more open. We definitely need more mascara. I, do, I did buy lashes, which I'm really excited about. Eyelashes feel like little spiders. This is the fake mink lashes in the Haley. So I thought they looked fun. With the eyelashes, they do give you this little tiny glue. So I'm not sure how, how good it is. Usually most places with the eyelash glue they give you, it's usually not good. So usually I use a different glue, but for the sake of the video, we are trying this. So, Line up your inner corner. So sit 
there for a minute. Oh, it is so scratchy. Ooh. Yeah, the mascara, it doesn't make... It's alright if you want a really natural look, but... Mm. Oh. Oh. Oh, this glue is terrible. Okay, I could not wear these eyelashes for more than five minutes. They're so itchy. It's like stabbing me in here. Like, literally stabbing me. Okay, soldier on. So, eyeliner. The eyelashes are definitely not sticking properly. The eyeliner is actually not terrible. So with the lips, I've got this pack. So it's actually called Pink Lemonade. This comes with a lip pencil and a lipstick. Now let's see. It says on the back if you can't put it near your eyes. For external use only. Mm, I wonder if your waterline's internal mm, it's outside your body mm, we'll see so this is a lip liner oh, it's actually really nice that's it there and this is the lip the lip gloss mm, looks like the kylie jenner lip kit smells like vanilla amazing let's just try this in the waterline see if it works You'll know tomorrow if I end up with eye irritation not to use it that the waterline is classified as internal but we will see. Okay so lip liner I've used it on the inner waterline there. Now to lips. That's actually really nice. I don't overline them like huge because I think it would look ridiculous. It is sort of like a, like a pinky nude. Hmm. Setting spray, hang on. It's not terrible, but it doesn't smell amazing. It's very wet, but I think, I think I quite like it. Kmart, you've done well. So that is a full face of makeup with Kmart product.